2D Physics 2020. In this video, we'll be looking at the new and improved 2D physics features in Unity 2020.1. Unity 2020.1 features many updates to 2D physics, including improvements to stability and performance. The team's Physics Examples 2D project has many scenes to demonstrate the 2D physics features. In this video, we'll take a look at these new features. You can get the example project on GitHub, which is linked in the description below. In the Physics Examples project, there are a variety of scenes that demonstrate different features of Unity's 2D physics system. The physics system's functionality will depend on the current Unity version you are using and not the project itself. Opening the Physics Examples project with different Unity versions may produce different results. In Unity 2020.1, the rigid body 2D position constraints have been improved in performance and stability. In the Physics Examples 2D project, open the scene located at scenes slash rigid body slash rigid body 2D underscore constraints. This scene shows the new performance and stability of the position constraints in Unity 2020.1. The truck is a normal, non kinematic rigid body that has been anchored. The position constraints have been improved to minimize penetration at little runtime cost. In this scene, you can increase the amount of objects spawned and test the new performance of 2020.1's physics and observe the constraint stability. To see the performance and stability of large rigid body 2D stacks, open the scenes slash colliders slash box collider 2D underscore stacked dot unity scene to see a stress test example. This scene has several stacks of boxes that act in a stable and performant manner. Click and drag on any box in the game view to drag it around to see how the physics system behaves. The Capsule Collider 2D.Unity scene shows a test with several capsules in different sizes. If the capsules are not visible, enable gizmos in the game view by clicking the gizmos button in the upper right hand corner. The gizmos will show the collider outlines and indicate the current forces acting on each rigid body. The pink arrows represent the collision contact normals. Unity 2020.1's physics system allows for more stable rigid body contacts, which allows for faster and more efficient sleeping. Sleeping is an optimization that is used to temporarily remove an object from physics simulation when it is at rest. This can improve the physics performance of scenes with many rigid bodies. In all recent versions of Unity, the collider outline will dim when the rigid body is sleeping. A rigid body that is sleeping will use less system resources. Click and drag on a capsule in the game view to observe when rigid bodies become active and when they start sleeping. Unity 2020.1 adds an auto simulation option to allow you to select when the physics is updated. Change the simulation mode under Edit, Project Settings, Physics 2D, Simulation Mode. By default, physics updates during the fixed update loop, which normally runs 50 times per second and is controlled by Unity. The physics simulation can be changed to run in the normal update loop, or you can choose to manage updates manually in your own script. If the simulation mode is set to script, the physics system will only update when you call the function physics2d.simulate. This can be useful if you'd like to have fine control over exactly when and how frequently the physics engine steps the simulation forward. The Edge Collider 2D has been updated with an adjacent start and endpoint feature. To see this feature, open the example scene under scenes slash colliders slash edge collider 2D underscore adjacent points. The adjacent start and endpoint feature allows you to adjust how an edge collider start and endpoints behave when a collision occurs. In this example, the green mover rigid body is given an initial velocity to the right and gravity is affecting it. Each one of the platforms is an Edge Collider 2D with the adjacent start point feature enabled. This is represented by the magenta line to the left of each Edge Collider. When the mover collides with the platform, it is pushed up by that adjacent start point. The adjacent start point in this case refers to the left side of each platform and the end point is the right side. Because the adjacent endpoints are not enabled, the mover will not be pushed up each platform if coming from that side. If we place the mover to the right side of the scene and set its velocity to be going to the left, it will be stopped by the edge collider. This is because the adjacent endpoint is not enabled to push the mover upwards. The start and end points refer to the two different points of an edge collider, which in this case are the left and right points. By enabling the adjacent endpoints on the right side, you can see that the mover will then be able to successfully move across the platforms. These physics features are just some of the new improvements made to 2D physics in Unity 2020.1.
If you'd like to try out these examples yourself, the physics example project is available on GitHub linked in the description below. Let us know what you think in the 2D beta section of the Unity forums. Thank you for watching.